Uh, so these notes are on using your graphing calculator to graph absolute value functions and piecewise functions. So uh, let's come up with an absolute value function. y equals negative 3 absolute value x minus 4 plus 2. So um, I start filling it in just as it says, so y equals negative 3. But now I need the absolute value symbol. So in order to find that on your calculator, you press math and you scroll over to num, and right there the very first one is highlighted already for you, a, b, s, parentheses. And then I fill in the part that's in my parentheses, my absolute value. Your calculator may need you to close parentheses at this point, that button right here is above the nine, or it may not. Um, and then you have plus two on the outside of the absolute value, and then press graph. Take a second to think about it, depending upon what kind of calculator you have. And there's my lovely absolute value. Vertex is at 4, 2. It's facing down. The slope is negative 3, positive 3, depending on which side, which branch you're looking at. Great. Let's now look at a piecewise function. I'm going to clear away this function. Um, and the piecewise function I'm going to look at is... Um, negative, nope, sorry, I apologize, x minus 1 squared minus 3. And we're going to do that for when x is less than negative 2. And then negative 1 fifth x minus 2 plus 3 for when x is greater than or equal to um, positive, negative 2. So now, um, this is a little bit more complicated. Uh, the instructions are printed out here, but I'm going to walk through them. First, I'm going to start by um, opening parentheses. And I'm going to input my first function. So my first function includes parentheses again. So I have parentheses x minus 1, close parentheses, squared minus 3. And then I close parentheses. So the first part is input within parentheses your first function. I'm going to open parentheses again. This time I'm going to input the subdomain. So I have x and I have less than negative 2. So um, the less than negative 2, to find that less than button, I press second math or test. And I can see here that 5 is the button I want to press right now. I want it to be less than negative 2. So 5, I put in negative 2, and then I close parentheses. I've now inputted the first sub function and its subdomain. I need the second one. In order to tell the calculator that I want both you know, within, that they're all connected, I say plus. And then I use the same process again. So I have my first sub function, um, negative 1 divided by 5. And I'm going to use parentheses there just to be sure the calculator understands the order of operations. x minus 2 plus 3, close parentheses. I've got my second sub function inputted. I'm going to put my second subdomain. So I have parentheses again, x. This time I need greater than or equal to. So I go to second math or test. Greater than or equal to is 4. And then I say um, negative 2, close parentheses, and tell it to graph it. And hopefully I've inputted all the necessary information that the graph is correct, and there it is. Um, I have my parabola part here and my linear part here, um, and you can see that there's a gap here. Now you'll notice on these graphs that the graphing calculator does not put arrows, so the fact that this graph continues forever over here and forever over here is not indicated. The other thing it does not do is it does not indicate open and closed circle. There's just not enough pixels for it to do that. So um, you, if you're using this as a guide, have to do the thinking, which is always the case when you use a calculator, and um, make sure that you have um, put the right parenthesis, the right closed circle, open circle, according to the correct inequality.